Welcome back to the SDG Executive Briefing Series. This time I will share how innovations and inventions of the past can be reborn and modernized with the latest technology to solve today's problems. Almost every invention is an improvement and a combination of previous inventions. In the field of modern engineering, this very detailed and complete literature can be traced back to the early 13th century. When in 1206 Al-Jazari from Jazira Mesopotamia wrote a manuscript of the Kitab Fi Marifat Al-Hiyal Al-Handasiya or in English the Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. There are more than 100 sophisticated machines that Al-Jazari reviewed in detail how they were made in the manuscript. Almost all machines that are present in modern civilization involve many important components that originated from Al-Jazari's work. In the automotive and transportation world in general, Al Jazari's very vital invention is what we later know as the crankshaft, which is a tool for converting back and forth motion into rotation or vice versa, as well as gears, which function for power transfer and control of rotational speed. All modern machines use one or both of this Al Jazari's works. When James Watt more than five centuries later introduced his steam engine, which then marked the first industrial revolution, the crankshaft was the main component for converting steam into motion. Likewise, when in the next century Robert Stirling sought to perfect and overcome the high risks of the steam engine, the crankshaft was a major component in the early generations of Stirling engines. In the same century William Rankin attempted to perfect it further which marked the pinnacle of the external combustion engine ECE, era. However, the ECE era was soon replaced in that century with the internal combustion engine ICE, era. It was the ICE engines that Lenore introduced, then popularized by Nicolaus Otto. That event yearly filled our streets, our oceans and even our generator sets. Ice which is more efficient, responsive and compact has been the main choice until now. But ice is also not without weaknesses. The basic weakness is that ice require high quality fuels such as gasoline, diesel or gas. This drawback can be ignored in the last two centuries when fossil fuels were plentiful and cheap. However, starting in this decade when the world began to realize that oil cannot always available, and if there is still no longer cheap, more than that this fossil fuel also has a negative impact on the environment. So all efforts to find new alternative energy that are clean and sustainable has become a major issue in today's civilization. What is no less important is not looking for new fuels, but looking for new machines that can process the abundant energy sources around us, such as sunlight, biomass, geothermal, waste and so on. This sustainable and abundant clean energy cannot be directly utilized by the internal combustion engine. But CA and be used directly if what we are using is the external combustion engine. The new Eki engines also don't need to completely reinvent the wheel, as all the basics are already in Al Jazari's work. Everything that has been used in the era of James Watt's steam engine, Robert Sterling's Sterling engine and William Rankin's Rankin engine can be modernized with the latest technological developments now to solve the main problem in modern civilization namely the problem of energy. More than that, Al Jazari's other works that became the forerunner of modern turbines can be a tremendous inspiration to produce modern turbines that are small in size but have a huge impact which we call microturbines. The microturbine we have developed is primarily an external combustion engine, which utilizes clean fuels that are abundant around us such as sunlight, biomass and waste to become versatile energy that modern society needs for various needs, namely electricity. With this external combustion-based power plant or what we introduce as the external combustion generator abbreviated as excogen, almost all of our energy needs will be met from clean fuels that are abundant around us. Happy Rebirth! External Combustion Generation, excogen.